always sick. She said she had a slight fever, so I went and bought a mask for me. Not for her, for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So there's like five that come in a pack. I think it's five for 20 baht. Not a bad deal. Right? <laughs> it's better to be safe than sorry. Always wear your protection. Always wear your pro uh -huh. Uh -huh. 26 in Thailand, Thailand Rob. And a bad contact lens. Time for some new contacts. So I was thinking, since I'm a beer connoisseur and I'm always drinking beer, that some of you actually probably like particular drinks, uh, fancy drinks, cocktail drinks, etc., etc. Okay, well, the White Sun Bar, if you look at the top over there, you can see just the sign of it. The blue building is Blue, uh, blue Manang. Very good restaurant. But then there's the White Sun Bar. So I'm walking towards the beach. Here we go. This is just a curve to the beach. And just as soon as you get in the curve of the beach, this is the orchid bar. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen the orchid bar before. But if you haven't and you're new and you're coming over, because I know season's coming in, well, this is the orchid bar. It's run by three brothers that are also into um, motocross. Yeah, they do motocross here in Thailand. A lot of traffic, hold on. All right, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. So I'm gonna, let's just walk, okay, if you just walk by, yes, they have coffee. And this is what I'm talking about, the special drinks. Because for any other bar here, you can get drinks. I mean, you can get normal drinks, but if you want specialty drinks, I have found that this place has even drinks I've never heard of. We came here one night and ordered a pina colada and they ended up getting a banana colada? And for dessert, he gave us, I think it was that Irish coffee where it had the like whipped cream on top and it, oh, that was so good. I don't even drink, usually drink uh, cocktails, but that was good, so. This place will be completely packed by all the regulars that always come here. Now I'm, oh, I'm just going to go and have a normal beer, like normal. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Good to see you again. The drink list. Special content. Nah, nah. Nah. I think if they make it, he has it. Orchid bar, that's all I can tell you. The beach, let me show you. This is how close the orchid bar is to the beach. I'm gonna run across the road. That's the beach. Right there. Orchid bar. Beach. All right, see you here. If you come here, let me know. I'll meet you here. Meanwhile, later on that night, the ever-present birthday slash balloon party was ever-present. <laughs>
was putting this video together, I was thinking back to all the stigma that goes around uh, balloon parties and association with cheap Charlies. Because I was noticing in the videos, you know, how many people were in there and I wanted to elaborate a little bit since I've lived over here, the difference between a birthday party, a cheap Charlie and support. In the off season, I have been educated that in the off season, um, the bar owners, because of lack of tourism, will go and visit and or support balloon parties to financially help out everyone's bar. That's the way they stay alive in the off season. Yes, they make food, but usually the food... Hold on, we're jamming. And people come, you can eat if you want to. But basically it's just to show support of other bars. Balloon parties, what they are typically is a bar, yeah. I will say this, some bars have more balloon parties than others. That is where it kind of gets kind of gray and you're like, all right, how many birthdays did you have in that place? And yes, there are people that just go around and they look for balloon parties. But I have found more in Kamala that it's not really the cheap Charlie's going around birthday parties. It's really more for like support of the other, the other businesses. So having that said, yeah, if you need gasoline, or a Molotov cocktail. So, or a tattoo. So anyway, like I said, I'm gonna throw this video, uh, I'm gonna finish up this video now with this because I just wanted to, because I wanted to touch base on that. Before I got over here, all I heard about balloon parties was Cheap Charlie Balloon Party. Cheap Charlie Balloon Party. That sounds like a t-shirt, doesn't it? All right, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you next time, and next time, what am I doing? I'm either going back to Chiang Mai or um, uh, Tokyo, no, or Japan, or maybe there's another place. Hold on, we'll stay. Back to America, please. Woody, Woody, don't forget that.